With the August hotfix released to all platforms, DE have improved the farms for both Oberon and Ash. Let's see what's changed and how they compare to the times needed to farm the newer frames Jaya and Caliban. I'm the Engineer, let's solve a practical problem. The biggest change with this update is the change to the Ash farm. In the previous patch up until the 17th of August, Ash could be farmed only through Railjack Defense or Railjack Survival. Defense had a 10.26% to 10.53% drop rate on Rotation C, while Survival had an 8.33% drop rate again on Rotation C. When I did my video on which frames take the longest to farm, we didn't even have the Survival option. At the end of that video, I suggested Ash be removed to Rotation A and his drop rate improved to 20%. Well, as of the 17th of August, Ash has been moved to Rotation A of both Defense and Survival with an improved drop rate of 13.33%. Survival is generally faster to complete than Defense in Corpus Railjack missions due to the sheer size of the Corpus ship defense map, so we'll focus on the Survival. That means we've gone from a 20 minute Survival, plus around 5 minutes of loading and Railjack gameplay for an 8.33% drop chance, to instead having a 10 minute Survival with 5 minutes of loading and Railjack gameplay for 2 shots at a 13.33% drop chance. This is a huge improvement to the farm time. Previously, I calculated that the medium player, perfectly in the middle of good and bad luck, would take 13 hours to get all 3 Ash parts. As of now, that time has been reduced down to just 2.5 hours. More than 90% of everyone will be done in under 5 hours. Even at the extreme end of bad luck, fewer than 1 in 10,000 people would need over 50 runs, and that's still going to let them get Ash faster than the previous average time. So roughly speaking, Ash is now 6 times faster to farm, which is an incredible improvement. Also changed with this update was the Oberon farm. Oberon used to come from the 3 Grenier regions in Railjack, Earth, Saturn and the Vale. In an effort to make it more accessible, D have moved the Vale piece over to Earth, doubling up the parts you can get from Earth missions. This not only makes the requirements to get Oberon lower, down from rank 7 intrinsics to only rank 3, but also increases the odds of getting an Oberon piece when farming on Earth, as you could get either the systems or the newer optics. The actual drop chance is still 10% per part in each location. Previously I calculated that the medium farm time for Oberon came out to around about 2 hours, with 1 in 100 people needing 6 or more hours. With these changes, the medium farm time for Oberon is now more like 1.5 hours, with the 1 in 100 mark down to around 4 hours and 40 minutes. In effect then, this farm has become around 25% shorter than before, in addition to being available quite a bit sooner. One further knock-on effect is that players doing Grenier Vale missions will no longer receive Oberon parts whatsoever, which is good news for those who already have him. The drop table at that level has one less wasted reward slot. So let's compare these two with the other frames released since the longest frame to farm video. Eureli is just a case of doing the quests, and then getting her pieces from a unique dojo room. It comes down to just how long it takes you to do some K-Drive challenges, so we'll skip her. Jaya I recently covered in the video on how long it takes to farm everything on the Zaraman, a location you unlock after the Angels of the Zaraman quest. For Jaya specifically, there are 5 things you need. You need the 3 component blueprints for her chassis, systems and neuro optics, you need her main blueprint, and then you need the resources, which includes Zaraman specific resources. So long as you are breaking a reasonable number of crates during missions and not skipping out things like Cephalon Malika consoles, the Entrati Lanthorns and Voipum Quills shouldn't be a problem for the average player. The only way you'll get the full Jaya blueprint set without enough resources is either by being quite lucky in the drops for the parts, or failing to actively loot the missions you're running. In terms of farming time, using optimal bounties, Jaya's medium farm time is just over 2 hours, with fewer than 1 in 100 people needing over 6 hours. If you choose to run longer bounties that take over 4 minutes, then this will naturally become a longer process. As an extra note for Jaya especially, all Syndicate medallions, which includes all Void Blooms, are now a global pickup. If one player grabs it, everyone in squad receives it. This will help you in getting those shorter run times and higher number of Void Blooms per hour when you're running in a squad. The final frame to cover then is Caliban, who becomes available to farm after completing the new war quest. Caliban's farm is one with some heavier waiting time built in, as only one of his three core parts will be available to farm at any given time, rotating every two and a half hours. 
This means if the part you want isn't available right now, it could be up to 5 hours until it becomes available. Caliban also requires Nama Isoplast, a resource only acquired through the same bounties needed to actually get the Caliban pieces, and they typically are awarded at a rate slower than the Caliban set demands. As a result, 71% of players will need to keep running Nama bounties for Isoplast even after getting all Caliban blueprints. I've factored this into the farm time. Assuming a bounty takes 10 minutes to complete, and that you get the full bonus, the average player will farm Caliban in just over 2 hours. Fewer than 1 in 100 people will need over 4 hours for him. For comparison, when it comes to Ash, 1 in 5 people will need more than 4 hours. So the typical person will farm Oberon in about 1.5 hours, Caliban in about 2 hours, but split around bounty rotations, Jaya in a little over 2 hours, but again split around bounty rotations, and Ash in about 2.5 hours. With all four of these Warframes, the faster you can do the mission without missing important bonuses, the sooner you'll unlock the frame. At the very least, it's no longer easier to farm Plat to buy Ash instead of farming him directly. I'm sure we can all agree on that being a great improvement. All the data and the program code that informs these videos is available over on my Patreon to those who want to meet the math. The link to that is in the video description. That's all from me for now though, so as always, farm parts, make frames, and fight well, Tenno.